Hello, Geminis. Welcome back to your channel. It's Asin Tarot. And welcome back. Welcome back. So today is going to be a video of seeing what the tarot deck has for you, what they want you to know. So we're going to pull some messages from these cards right here. Then we're going to move on to some tarot messages, okay? And to see what the angels want you to know um, about your love life, about your career, about whatever comes up. Um, so if you're new here, welcome, Geminis. Please remember to like the video video if it does resonate um give it a big thumbs up uh when you do youtube recognizes that and push the video forward for the channel to grow this is the new youtube guys so <laughs> please like that video where it does resonate and if you're returning welcome you guys welcome back to your channel thank you guys for all your support in all your videos i really really appreciate that and um if it doesn't resonate you guys i will have a link a playlist down below in the description box for you it's all the messages with Gemini. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to pull messages from here first. Angels. Angels. Please give me messages for Gemini, please. For their person, what their person want them to know that they cannot tell them in the physical. For Gemini's. Angels. Messages for Gemini's, please. Shuffle messages for Gemini. Okay. All right, Gemini. Your first card is heartbroken. This person is very heartbroken at this present time. Let's see what the next card is. I hope we can be friends. That's what your next card is saying. So you guys are separated at this present time. Your next card is, I know more than you think. Wow. What happened? Situation happened where you probably haven't told this person um, all of the facts or... Okay, your next card is, we need some time apart. What's going on? Gemini. All right, let's do your next four cards. It's, you speak to me through music. So this person, every time they listen to music, they think of you. Your next card is, moving on, thank you, next. Ooh, so this person is um very rude. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you probably hurt them and they're just like, you know what, moving on, thank you, next. You are my personal drug. But even though they're very attracted to you and then... You know, you make them happy. And then your last card is, I want to be inside you now. So this person wants to have intercourse with you, Gemini. <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo. My God. So this is like a toxic relationship right now because this person um, is very heartbroken. They want to be friends. Um... They know more than you think. Um, they're saying like we need time apart. Uh, you speak through me. You speak to me through music. So that's indicating you know this person still care about you. you still love you. Moving on. Thank you. Next. I. They have like back and forth feelings towards you. Um, you are my personal drug, and then I want to be inside you. Like so, this person is physically attracted to you. Want to be with you. Um, but there's some issues here that happened with your relationship. All right, so let's see. Angels, guide me through this. What's going on with Gemini's person, please? What's going on in this relationship with Gemini? What's going on in this relationship, please? What would you like Gemini's to know with this connection? all right we have the page of pentacles we have the queen of wands seven of wands in reverse Ooh, my god a lot of passion here a lot of passionate cards here a lot of fire 
fireside cards. Um, the magician. And we have the king of wands. We have pentacles. The death card. Someone is stuck. Someone hasn't learned from this decision, this um situation as yet. So they're like, it's not a big deal kind of thing, but it surely is. So it was a third party situation going on. The fools, seven of pentacles, the high priestess in reverse, and the queen of swords. We're going to talk about that card, those cards that I just pulled on the back of your deck in a minute. But I just want to get into your reading, okay? So I do see someone trying to talk. They want to come in in the page of pentacles. Um, this person is a, a nurturing person, okay? This person likes to take care of you, okay? I'm seeing like this is a person that this person is. Um, and this person actually just wants to um, talk about things that you guys have built together, okay? I'm feeling that this person wants to talk about, you know, where this situation is going to go. Um, but I feel like this person is like pulling back a little bit because and is not ready to come forward with this situation or make action towards us because of what happened. And I feel like they feel like you're not ready to hear this with this situation. I feel like you might reject them. That th that's what they're saying. Like you might reject them. I do see the queen of wands here too um, in reverse. Like this person is a very passionate person. I feel like this person wanted to commit to you, wanted to give you a long-term commitment, wanted to be very stable with you. But at this present time, you know, something that broke, that went on in your relationship, um, this person is uh, saying like, yeah, you know, this person is not, is not going to take me back at this present time. This person is not going to take me seriously. So I'm just going to pull back a little bit because I'm not in a place where I feel the most confident in myself and the most focused at this present time. And I don't want to come off as this person in front of this person. So this person is like pulling back and, you know, keeping themselves to themselves at this present time in the page of pentacles and in the, in the queen of wands here. Okay. This is what I'm reading these cards. I'm just like, I'm feeling this person, okay? There's a lot of conflict going on with this person with the seven of wands, okay? This person is fighting with multiple people. So it couldn't just not be with you. It could just be with your friends, your family, someone that's very close to you, uh, Gemini, that this person is fighting with, okay? There's a lot of people involved here because I also see, I hate when the, the seven of wands always come out with the five of wands, you know? There's a lot of conflict here. So I see this person is arguing, arguing, arguing with these people. And then suddenly this person is like in a five of wands, you know, and I'm just going to walk away from this because I cannot win. Like this, this is what this person is saying. Like it's so much arguments in this, these two cards alone in the reverse. Like I cannot win. This person is like, you know what? I'm just going to peace. I'm just going to walk away, you know? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Then we have the magician here. You know, even though some these things are happening, someone is manifesting someone back. I'm getting that very strongly in the upright position with this magician here. They're manifesting love. They're manifesting their career. They're manifesting money. They're manifesting, you know, opportunities, action. And this, this, this person is manifesting action to come back into their lives with this person. This person is manifesting, you know, like manifesting this opportunity back into their lives. I do see someone more stable here because I do have the, the queen of wands in reverse, but here is the king of wands in the upright position. So I feel like you guys have a really strong connection between each other, even though someone is feeling, um, I feel like the person who is feeling like they're not very confident in themselves right now is the person that did very wrong. Um, with, to someone else because someone is two different energies coming through. Someone is more stable. Someone is more understanding. Someone is more focused. Someone is more, you know, um, confident in themselves and ready to commit, ready to move on with this and give a long-term commitment, okay, in the King of Wands. Someone is ready to do this. And there's also a person that is ready. It's a very nurturing person in the King of Pentacles. This is the same energy, coming through. So the same good energy, like someone is saying, you know what, I'm, I have my career together, I have my life together. 
I am ready to find that right person to offer this big ass pentacle. You see that they have in their hand, this big ass foundation to someone and share my life with someone. I'm just ready to do this. I'm sick and tired of trying to do the same old thing and not get, and getting hurt from these folks, you know? But I do see the three of pentacles here. There's someone actually in reverse, you know, someone feel like, okay, I looked up to this person at one time. I really wanted to be with this person. This person really checked off all my, my list, my bucket list. But at this present time, I feel like this person is not the one for me at this time because of two things. I'm going to get to that in a minute because I do see those cards. But, um, you know, there's a very selfish person here that is just, you know, they want to... This energy right here is an energy that this person wants to get back with someone, but they just don't really understand what they did wrong. They don't believe they did anything wrong. They don't believe that they're stuck. They're like stuck into something. They haven't learned from the situation. Okay. So I feel like they don't believe that they did anything wrong in this three, in this, in this, in this whole relationship. But this is what went wrong. We have the two of pentacles in reverse. We have the five of cups in the upright, we have the three of cups in reverse. This is telling me this person definitely had two people going back and forth with. This person that did wrong um, got caught. They wasn't really a player, a girl or a guy, okay? And they just messed up, okay? They messed up. Stability was gone because they couldn't juggle those two things the right way. Um, someone felt like they were in a relationship by themselves. They put them out on the, the, the street. Like, they don't, they just, just, this person is telling me, like, yeah, I was in a whole relationship and I was basically by myself the whole time. You know, dating myself, be with myself. It was just me, 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 and I kind of situation and then you know someone is saying hey they invited somebody else in our bedroom and I feel like they're the three of cups this is telling me someone close to me too this was someone probably a friend that you know that this person knew probably your neighbor you know someone that was really close to you someone that says hi to you bye to you and you know this person you know maybe you guys used to have threesome for some of you um together and you know this person you know decided to start still sleep with this person behind your back because the three of cups talks about you know inviting someone into your bed but i believe that you didn't know about this person okay you didn't know about this person this person was just a surprise <laughs> you know very much a surprise okay so we have this is what's going behind the scenes it could be your energy your person's energy so just keep it as it resonates we have the queen of swords here the high priestess someone is definitely not thinking with their minds they're very secretive and i know why because of this you know i feel like the high priestess is you gemini whoever is hurt here this person had put up a wall and just like you know what i'm not thinking with my heart right now with my intuition i'm just thinking with my head i'm just like you know what I am not trying to get hurt anymore. I'm just keeping a whole bunch of secrets, keeping my stuff to myself. Nobody needs to know about me. This is what, the, you know, I'm getting from this energy. The queen of swords, a lot of, you know, manipulation is going on here. A lot of energies and communication, not energies, a lot of communication have been cut off from a certain person. Someone has blocked someone and decided not to talk, to talk to this person at this present time, you know? And being like, you know, a little childish, you know, because they're hurt, okay? I feel like there's someone here that is ready to invest, though. There's someone here that's ready to invest in this relationship or you guys are going to be ready to, to invest in this relationship. And I feel like someone is going to jump in. So I feel like the person that is hurt, because this Fool's card is in reverse. So Gemini, if you are the person that is hurt, is going to be you. This is, a, this is what it's saying. You are ready to invest in this relationship and you will and you you will jump in it with everything that this person have done to you. It will linger. You will forgive, but you will never forget. Okay? This is what I'm saying. Like, you will give this person a second chance, but you will not forget what this person have done to you. And I feel like, you know, just a little bit of advice here. If you're going to go back to someone, let it go, Gemini. Because it cannot work if you're just like thinking like, you know what, I'm going to give this person a second try, but I'm just going to remember everything. No, you have to forget everything and give this person a clean slate for make and build your relationship back on trust to make this work. Um, let's see what this 
this uh this reading wants to go to what's the conclusion on this reading uh where the angels want you to know oh okay angels what's going on with gemini person please oh okay let's see here let's see here they have a story to tell huh i'm oh, sorry and this one i need one more card please angel one more card <laughs> I didn't have to shuffle. Okay. All right. So the first thing I see is the Queen of Cups here, the Chariot, and the Three of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. So somebody was definitely going through some a lot of depression with this connection being over. But what they have done, they have really um, looked at themselves and said, okay, I realize what I have done with this, or I feel like... This could be you, Gemini, that was going through a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, and looking back on your relationship and saying to yourself, like, um, you know what? I shouldn't have been with this person. Why did I give this person a shot? But I feel like this is your person, too, that's also saying that they looked in their past and they really hate what they have done. Um to this connection, okay? And they wish they could change a lot of things because here's the three of wands here right next to it, which is telling me that this person is saying that they missed, they feel like they missed on an opportunity with you. They feel like they missed out on this. Like, you know, there's a lot of ships. If you look at this card, there's a lot of ships in the in the water and they're just passing by and you see they're just looking with the three of wands. But, you know, they're in the upright position that, that means that they're trying to figure out like which direction they wanna take, which which ship they want to go on to go on this adventure right but in reverse they feel like they missed out on this opportunity with you right and they're going through a lot of thoughts in their minds and they don't know which direction to take in the chariot they want to fix what they have done but they don't know how they don't know how they don't know how at this present time gemini and they have this uh queen of cups here that they really love you they want to give you this long-term commitment they want to be committed to you but at the same time they feel like you're gonna like just throw them to the curb and be like are you serious you did all this to me and you want to commit now you want me to commit to you so they're like you know what I'm not going to really bring that up to this person at this present time because I have a lot of stuff to fix in a chariot, but they just don't know which way to go, which way to go. So we have some cards here as well. We have the sun in reverse. We have the five of wands in reverse, which came up twice in your reading, okay, um, in reverse. We have the two of swords here and we have the three of swords. All right, so... I'm indicating that this someone is definitely not happy right now with their lives. They're not happy with their lives, with themselves, with their money, with whatever they have. Maybe when you guys were together, for some of you, this person um, really looks good because you were with them. Because I do see someone here, the King of Pentacles, is an energy that is more stable, that is uh, efficient. They got their lives together, their job, their career, everything, their money. They're really a good person and they try to just, you know, even the Queen of, um, I thought it was the Queen of Pentacles that came on that. No, actually, it was just this one. Okay, am I tripping? Okay, so the King of Wands, like I was saying, like is a, a very a good energy. Like this person is a very stable person, you know, comes with money, you know, comes with people know them, you know, they make sure their family are okay. Um, and they're just ready to share their wealth with others, okay? And I feel like this person is like, with their wealth, they're just not happy in the sun being in reverse. They're like, I'm not happy with myself, with my wealth, with how I look in the mirror. They're just not happy with themselves. Um, I feel like it's more to do with what they have done, okay? Um, this person is saying that there was a lot of conflict in this relationship as well, and someone had to walk away. So they walked away from this conflict, okay? Um, there is a lot of things that need to be seen, okay? And there is someone trying to find out what went on in this situation because there's just peace that needs to be made with this someone wants to make peace someone wants to move on from this situation the two of swords the two of swords talks about peace okay making a decision this person is trying to find the clarity that they need to make that decision at this present time and they have not found it yet okay this person is releasing this breaking heart because they're ready to forgive okay ready to forgive ready to move on even if it's with this relationship or with someone else so i do see that okay this 
this is where I'm going to leave this reading, okay, uh, Geminis. I know this is like, I feel like this reading is not over. Let me just ask the angels something real quick. Angels, what's the conclusion to this reading, please? What is this person? Ooh, oh, my God. I, okay. I didn't even get to ask. Let's see what the cards here came out with. Okay. All right. We have the 10. Okay. We have the 10 of swords. Ooh, we have the Knight of Cups, the conclusion, Three of Cups. Wow. All right. So, and the Eight of uh, First, okay. Uh, all right. I hate when this happens. So, we have the Ten of Swords, you guys. So, this person is going to forgive. This is what's going on. I'm going to be quite honest for you. All right. Um, this person is going to forgive. We have the Ten of Swords here. So, this person was really going through some pains um physical mental mental pain so this person has been broken hearted we already know that we see the three of swords here okay this person is ready to forgive this okay and ready to move on i do see someone coming in with the knight of cups okay they're giving you their offer their love okay but in conclusion i do see this third party situation not going anywhere okay and i do see the eight of swords here you being stuck in this relationship trying to find clarity and not finding it okay trying to find out what you have done wrong so just take that as it resonates in this relationship i hate um when relationship ends like this but this is what i do see you know this is a third party situation that this third party is just there even still you know all right gemini's this is what i see like the video if you did like it comment below what resonated um and i'll see you guys in your next one okay please don't settle for less you deserve the most um please believe that in yourself I let the universe work and only think positive things i know is very hard to do but when you do that, oh my God, you just start seeing things happen when you least expect it, okay? And um, what you manifest will come forward in your life, okay? Um, so this right here doesn't look good to me. I wouldn't want to be in a relationship with a third party. It's not going anywhere and you're going to be stuck in a relationship that is just like not even fulfilling to you, okay? All right, Geminis, I'll see you guys in your next reading. Love you guys. Bye.